What's up, y'all? Welcome to the vlog. And I hope y'all are still safe out there. Well, yesterday evening, I went and sent a couple lines through this island. Well, here, let me show y'all real quick. Gotta be careful, because I got the, the river right here, the main part of the river, and then I got this flooded island. Pretty cool. So I set a couple of lines through here, and not I've got four lines so far, and I took them off the limbs because I didn't like the area. I, I'm trying to rethink the area. I had 20 lines set out, and I haven't gotten anything yet. But I brought the minnows that we trapped in the last vlog, and uh, this line, I'm liking the location because it's right in between the calm part and uh, uh, moving part of the river. And so every so often, I'll. Uh, I'll pick y'all up and show y'all what I'm looking at. I really hope that's uh, facing that. And it's a lot of, like yesterday evening, I was able to paddle through here with ease. Today is a little, well, the hardest part was coming in to the beginning because a lot of the trash from the river is piling up there. So that's also another reason why I'm moving all those lines. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and put a min uh, minnow or two. I'll grab a... Wait, no, well, that's the cast net. That is not my minnow bucket. Put a couple minnows on each hook. And uh, that's what I'm going to rebait with. Live bait. Well, while they're still alive. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, guys, I'll uh, tune y'all in if anything interesting happens. But, yeah, just checking my lines and rebaiting for right now. We have a limb right here. And it's budging and it's going towards the the trunk of the tree which means it's probably wrapped up hopefully it's not hopefully it's just trying to trying to figure out a way to pull itself off but I'm at this next line right here nothing on it so I'm gonna go ahead now that I see that line doing that I'm gonna actually go ahead and put a minnow on this one I'm not gonna wrap it up I did find uh, another one of my lines empty and I just went ahead and uh, wrapped it up and put it back in the in the case until I find a better area but I'm I'm honestly I'm trying not to go too far deep into this island and I honestly can't remember I can't remember how far I went in all I know is I just found a really a bunch of good limbs and that's what I was just going for and making sure they don't get wrapped up underneath so all right enough chit chat let's go ahead and get this line set up and check that one right there I don't know, maybe it's the river playing mind tricks on me again. Yeah, this is where... <laughs> I'm just, uh, yeah, doing that. It's pretty shallow in here. That's what I like about having my that type of boat that I have. Yeah, I see. I can't tell what it is, but I think we, yep, we're fishing on. Oh yeah, I see it now. And hopefully, yeah, I'm still recording. Hopefully, he's still he's on good. All right, so hopefully, all these saplings are hanging me up on the back side of my boat and I think it's a keeper too come on boat I can't tell if it's hooked very well but oh man trying to get around here mine now and that is a keeper almost got hung up almost got hung up I think I'm gonna reset this line give me a second guys trying to 
I have the, all these little saplings like hanging on to the bottom of my boat. There we go. Oh, great. Now the sun's put, casting a shadow. There we go. Got ourselves another eater. So that's two. That ain't bad. I mean, I'm trying. I'm still new to this river. You know, I'm used to growing up in a different, basically on a lake. And, uh, you know, fishing note that area. But, well, I guess for now, I'll put them right there. I forgot what I was going to say. I'm just excited now. And I see another line. Yeah, I think I'm going to reset this one with some minnows. That's good, though. That's good. Hell yeah. Golly, that river is raging. I think I found all of my lines. I'm not sure. My box is telling me I have 10 still out and I counted eight still out with bait. Another thing that I was thinking about was you see the bottoms of these trees, how they're wet. That's, uh, that's as far as the river has dropped in two days. So, I am making sure that I grab all the ones on the center part, the ones that are away from the edge where it's deeper. I might get one more night off of these lines off on this island before, you know, the water drops. And then I'll be back out here because I'm sure it's going to flood again because we're going to get rain here in the next couple days. And it's supposed to rain for like a week straight supposedly uh, so I'll definitely come back in here but I'm gonna look at the map and see if I can find any points I know there's a point about three miles down the river you know well, that way and I think there's another point about two miles down the river that way I think I might go to those points as long as I don't see a lot of you know traffic around there i'll probably go set some lines over there check out some new areas while i'm at home well we got one fish guys yes one fish see if i can find these two lines if i'm even off count by two lines i don't know taking the same route that i did yesterday and so far they're all where i put them i'm looking at all the trees that are alive and yeah Maybe I miscounted today, you know, rebaiting. I'll find them. I always find them. It's not like I can't find them, you know, when the water drops on this island and I walk through here anyway, so. This is just beautiful. All the leaves coming in for the spring. whole island is flooded. Golly. I don't think there's a dry spot on this island. Alright, so this is like the eighth time I'm trying to record this because my phone keeps on messing up. So hopefully we can get it this time. I'm going to try to go as fast as possible. Alpha Omega. Good question. What is the meaning of muddy veins? Now this is kind of funny because I, I wonder where our, my relationship with my subscribers is going to be here in two more years or next year or whatever but let's get to that question that's a good question alpha it started out as a river name outdoor name um but it honestly kind of changed mine and chelsea's uh perspective on life when we when we came up with this name uh it was just somebody who likes being outdoors and fish and hunt and everything but as we all know the outdoor channel didn't work out too well and there's thousands of them out there so you know well, I'll just, we'll just watch those. That's what they can do. Me, I prefer vlogging my life. But uh, right now, the meaning of muddy veins, 
um, probably will, will always be the meaning. I, I didn't mean to say it like the meaning's going to change, but uh, someone who is not afraid to get down and dirty with whatever project and can always figure out a way to uh, make things better, I guess, or, or fix things, you know. But uh, that's that's pretty much in a in a nutshell. Uh, there'll be future vlogs, or hopefully one day I get good enough to where I want to get live. <laughs> Don't know yet. Uh, and and we can actually explain more about you know the the, the muddy veins, but you know us, the channel, the purpose, and everything for it. And uh, yeah, I hope that kind of answered your question a little bit. Like I said, I'm trying to hurry up. Am I even still recording? Yes, I am. Awesome. And uh, supposed to get some more storms. After the storms are gone, guys, I'll be back, there, back out there limb lining. I'm finding new areas. I'm trying to move my lines. If there's nothing on there, I'm going to move it to where hopefully I can find where the fish are on this river. If not, there's going to be three days out of this year where I, where I will be doing all night trips, or so far they're in the schedule, where I'll be doing all night trips at my uh, hometown lake area. And, uh, that place i know for a fact i get uh um good hauls so guys thank you for watching the vlog Ooh, i almost did it again guys stay strong stay healthy listen to the doctors stay safe thank you for watching the vlogs i love each and every one y'all god bless